Hey there, everyone. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. News 6 Plus and the Pinpoint Weather app. We're already seeing the radar start to fire up with storms mainly north of Orlando moving toward the south, so they're going to spread out and pick up intensity as the day goes on. So we start the clock here at 3 in the clouds and rain forecast. Notice as we head into the early evening, the showers and thunderstorms begin to spread out along the sea breeze with those boundary collision storms producing some heavy rain, gusty winds, possibly even a lot of lightning. But by about 8... After that, everything starts to wind down for the night. We'll have a few residual showers, but that's about it. Overnight, we'll have cloudy skies. And to start the day tomorrow, a few showers along uh, the Flagler and northern Volusia County coastline. Those will actually spread out by about noon. So you can expect a little bit more activity in and around Orlando and back toward the east. That's going to spread out as the day goes on. So we will have a few potentially stronger thunderstorms late in the day. This is 4 o'clock. That could linger through the evening, but it looks pretty good for Friday night football ball if you are headed out and about. We'll just have cloudy skies and it will definitely be humid. Your overnight lows will settle in the mid to lower 70s under cloudy skies. Then as we head through the day tomorrow, your high temperature will rebound right around 88. That's just two degrees below the average for this time of year. We'll have a lot more clouds around and a good amount of rain in the second half of the day. Let's get you some results and share your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Heading into the weekend, your rain coverage remains high with temperatures in the lower 90s. Heading into next week, we ring in the first day of fall officially on Thursday with a high right around 89 degrees. That's your Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.